out, folks. Two-time champion of the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Let's enjoy the celebration. He moves into Sprint Cup for Jack Roush next year. Tell me a little bit about the season overall. And what I mean is you come in as a two-time champion. With that comes a little swagger, I would imagine. But then you come to a whole new series. Do you feel like you almost had to set the reset button and kind of start over in a way? Oh, we've, we've reset quite a <laughs> bit. Um, no question. Yeah, no question about it. It, it is really tough. I, I, I knew coming in that it wasn't going to be, you know, run top five every week, contend for a win every week. And, uh, and that's tough not doing that uh, after doing it in the past couple of years. So we've reset and, uh, and kind of kind of move your goals around and uh, and then go from there. Is there such a thing as being too hard on yourself or not at this point? You know, people ask about the, the pressure of coming into the 17 car, following Matt. I don't feel any pressure from that side of things. Uh, you know, Jack's confident uh, in my ability. Uh, the team's confident in my ability. I put the most pressure on myself. That's how I got to where I am today is uh, not being satisfied. You've always been the cowboy. I mean, a lot of people may say, oh, this is some sort of persona he's playing. You've always been what we see in front of us. You know, I always took after dad. Uh, he always wore boots. And uh, so I just, you know, growing up, I wanted to be just like dad. So, you know, it was Wranglers and, and boots growing up. And uh, if I wasn't in boots, I would be, uh, you know, in my driving shoes. Stenhouse is Patrick's chief competition for Rookie of the Year honors this year, but there's more to that story. Danica Patrick and Ricky Stenhouse Jr., they are dating each other and competing against each other. They're quite an item. Interesting with the two of you is a lot of people, especially us on the inside of the sport, would think, oh, they want to hide their relationship or they want to keep it quiet, you know, have some privacy. And you guys do have privacy, but at the same time, you guys are the ones, you know, tweeting pictures about things you're doing or activities. Do you ever think, why are we putting this out there? With her, it's tough to uh, to have privacy. Everywhere we go, you know, people are saying hey to her all the time, wanting to take pictures, and I just kind of keep walking. So um, <laughs> you got always, the best of both worlds. Yeah, I always <laughs> feel bad for her, and I'm, you know, you know, we just try to put it out there what what we feel comfortable with. You know, it's uh, it's still fun. What's something that you've sort of turned her on to? Something that she never would have tried or eaten or done before you, and vice versa. She's got boots and hats uh -huh. now. Well, she looks good in, and I turned her on to liver mush, liver uh, mush. which is delicious. Doesn't and, sound, that does uh, not sound delicious. <laughs> what else? Country music. You know, she says that she listens to it uh, for me, but when she's in charge, she, she yeah. still turns it to country music. So uh, that grew on her pretty quick. The biggest thing is like, um, you know, goat cheeses and things like that. Uh, I just always thought there was like, American cheese and cheddar <laughs> cheese, and that was about it. Uh, so a lot of cheeses that uh, that she's turned me on to. She likes to cook a lot, and uh, and so there's a lot of times we're eating. I have no idea what we're eating, and everything she makes is good. So uh, I just say okay and go along with it. You said you you sort of get the luxury of the uh, anonymity a little bit, you know, more than her. But at the same time, because of that, you're left out of things. You know, you guys went to the Blackhawks game. The picture was her in like half your head. You know, I like to have fun with it. Uh, the drivers give me a hard time, but you know, it doesn't bother me whether I'm in a picture or not. Um, I, honestly, I don't really like pictures that much. So, obviously, know she's uh, you know made who she is, and you know, it's it's bigger than me. Well, it's been nearly six months since Denhouse and Patrick went public with their relationship, yet the masses still hang on every move they make. This was actually the cover of Friday's USA Today. Now, I asked Ricky how he handles the attention, especially at red carpet affairs like award shows. Well, the mild-mannered cowboy from Olive Branch, Mississippi, says he does what he's always done. He tips his hat and lets the lady <laughs> take center stage. 